So I introduced them a little bit earlier. Um, we've got some rock star agents. This is about agents who took quantum leaps in their business. And why this was really important to me is that they were doing a, a, a good amount of business um, and then they took these quantum leaps in their business. And one thing that didn't change was there were still seven days a week. So it wasn't like they got an extra day and it wasn't like they got extra hours. So what they did was they were good agents, smart agents who were doing a lot of business. But I always say, if I could help you to work smarter versus harder, would that be a value? So today is really about helping you identify opportunities to grow your business by not working harder. So learning from other people and what they did to take their business to the next level. And again, some of these things you will go like, I'm all in on that, spot on, I'm gonna implement it. And some of you go, you know what, that doesn't feel like me. So as always, I just try to bring ideas to you guys and then you apply one or two things that you think could grow your business or improve the quality of your life. So that's what the agenda is about. So I've got Katie Jones from the Southeast office. I've got Robert Smith from the Central Regional office. I've got Sean Hood from the New Albany office and I have Heather Herr from the Hyde Park office. So thank you guys so much for being here. Let's start with Katie. So Katie, how are you doing this morning? I am radiant this morning. Thank you, how are you? I'm doing great. So I ask Katie a lot of questions all the time and I hope this, this is okay because I absolutely love Katie's accent. Katie, where are you from again? I'm from just west of London. It's about 35 minutes outside London. I, I just absolutely, so thank you for being here this morning and. And you know you've 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 been a wonderful partner to me to the organization, and um, and I'm really proud of watching your business and seeing the quantum leap that you have taken over the last couple of years. So um, let's start with this, if you wouldn't mind. Let's get a little bit of background. Is how long have you been in the business? So I've actually been in the industry, I'd say, for 12 years now. Part of that, I understand, was as a home stager. And that's really where I got started. And then um, my the person that recruited me, um, you know, convinced me to become an agent. So I finally did that. I've also been an agent development specialist for a couple of years. So really, I've been back in sales for about two and a half years now. Yeah, I'm curious about this. What did you learn uh, when you were teaching other agents to be successful? Uh, what did you learn from that experience that and how did that impact you when you went back into sales? That's actually really impacted me a lot because, you know, watching other agents be successful and also those that weren't as successful, I've taken what I learned from them and either implemented or changed or added to the ones that weren't as successful. Yeah, you know, that's a, something I hear very common is you know, when you teach others and then you apply it to yourself, right? What did you learn? Uh, it always has a tremendous impact on your business. Okay, so there's a lot of agents on here who are just newer in the business. So let's start there. Is it whether what you did or what you advised agents who are newer to the business or maybe their business, they don't have consistency with business and they're struggling to generate business. What did you do in the beginning to generate business or what do you advise people to do to generate business in the beginning? What actually, first of all, I still feel like I am starting out. So everything I do is either new or continued. So it's it's ever changing to be quite honest. But at the very beginning, as I started, you know, I was a stager. So at the time, all my friends were realtors because that's where I was advertising. Oh, yeah. So I had to go out and find new friends, <laughs> really. <laughs> so what I did was I started a lot of groups, social groups. So I remember Sean Carpenter would always say, you know, live life and do real estate in the gaps. And that's pretty much what I did. So I was a mom and I started a mommy group. I was a new mom. And, you know, I'd get all these moms together that I'd never met and we'd get together, the kids would play and we'd talk and, oh, what do you do? Oh, this is what I do. I'm not just, I'm not a stay-at-home mom. So that would help. I am a dancer. I started a dance once a month and I met everyone that came in, had to sign in and give me their name, address, email and phone number. Oops. 
you know, for security reasons and all that stuff. <laughs> so <laughs> I was building my database that way too. Um, I'm really into cooking, so I have a food group. Uh, it's crazy, I have all these groups. Um, British group that I ran, I started uh, sewing and quilting, which is really funny, but um, I'm actually getting business that way from a group also running and my favorite was the girls night which anyone could really do i would invite a bunch of my girlfriends over they had to bring an appetizer and a bottle of wine and rsvp so i knew who was coming and then i would go through my list figure out where they lived or rough area if i didn't know exactly and i would kind of learn real estate for their market so when real estate within the group or that night you know, came up in conversation, I was ready and I kind of looked pretty knowledgeable because I was able to say, oh yeah, and in your area, this is happening. And in your area, this is happening. Yeah. So you became their trusted advisor. Uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I did. But, of course. Well, the thing I love about Katie, what you just said is I'm assuming you chose to get involved in the things that you were passionate about right correct right and and that's something i've seen a lot is if someone is passionate about something they're more likely to be consistent at doing it if they're more consistent at doing it they're going to have more success from it so what i loved about what you did you found things that you were really passionate about you got involved with it you became the trusted advisor and you leveraged that opportunity to grow your business at the beginning so congratulations and some people that may not be what they want to do the key is to find out what it is that you're passionate about and do it. So fantastic uh, uh, what you did. Now let's talk about your quantum leap. So kind of give us a little bit of a critical path of what you think you have done to go from where you were to the success that you've had recently. Well, like you said, you know, I did really think about what agents were doing that were successful and those that were not as successful. So. But the main thing, you know, I decided to go back from being an ADS and a full-time employee to sales. So my thought process was, this is going to be my full-time job. And I'm going to have to do this full-time. I can't expect to do part-time and earn a full-time wage. So I would drop my son off at school mm. and then I would be in the office or, you know, or wherever that was for the day. And I do literally still every day eight to five plus you know plus showings and phone calls during the evenings and all that kind of thing so that was it for me i really wanted to be there and be working on things and i know a lot of new agents would say well what are you working on well for me as i was waiting for the business or you know the social media was happening absolutely um you know but mindset was one thing also you know I had other managers and friends and my spouse very you know they believed in me yeah. and I believed in myself but I came to the realization that only I can make great things happen so I had to be there I had to show up and in those things that I wanted to get done while you know doing some business I really worked on my branding that was the first thing that I really concentrated on. So I'm a big believer in if I can't do it, I'm going to find someone else to help me make that happen. So, you know, I've used websites like Fiverr constantly for things like, you know, simple things like writing a house description, which I, it would take me three hours and be appalling. So I found someone that would do it for me, which was mm -hmm. amazing. But as far as the branding, I had um, I had someone do a bio for me. I found someone in Texas and they did a great job. I have it here. So they did a two page flyer for me. They wrote the copy and it looked really good. And also I had to talk about my car. because <laughs> um, I bought myself a little car knowing that I would want something that I had to drive around and didn't want to worry about the mileage. So um, you can see it here. It really does look like that. <laughs> oh, wow. So um, that 
was kind of the start of the branding for me. I didn't know what I wanted on the car. I was thinking, you know, real estate words, like it would say sold, in contract, that kind of thing. And I gave my idea to a designer who was from my British group. <laughs> and he came up with this. He said, you're British. You've got to do that. So that was the first thing. Um, then I decided, you know, if I'm meeting with buyers, I want to give them something. I don't want to be sitting for an hour in the office trying to get everything together. I want to have things ready. So I had this made, which I love. Oh, that's, that's great. And it's a booklet. It's branded. It's, you know, it's got the information and it's ready to go. So I just, I carry a bunch of them in my car. When I meet with someone, that's what they get. And we talk about, you know, the process of buying. I have a seller one. And then um, this one's half the price is actually it's a for sale by owner. It's not, this is just not printed properly yet, but that's. Yeah. So I have all these things ready, branded. The car was the start of it. Then I had a video made and someone put a little caricature of me. I was like, that's really cool. That kind of looks like me. So that's on my business card. You could see that with the car. That's awesome. As well. So <laughs> so that was the, the first thing that I wanted to get set up. The next thing was really getting my systems in place. And, you know, anytime I did something twice, I knew it was going to be done often. So the, the first one I did was explaining the paperwork for people, for buyers. So... When I have a new buyer, if I can't meet them in person, then they have to sign paperwork. I have a video that I've made and I'm kind of off in the corner and they get the video, explains all the paperwork and I call them, I say, have you watched the video? And I can tell if they have because the numbers change. Right. And they say, yes, and questions. Okay, here's, here it is. And it saves me so much time to have that done. I have one for the in contract. I have a system for when we're in, clo in contract, when we close, you know, what I do to really take care of the clients. And I can spend more time with them answering questions and things like that. Um, you know, I'm creative, but other people do, a lot of other people actually do it for me. It's not always me <laughs> doing that <laughs> stuff. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. I just, it's just get it done. Um, I don't really time block which my manager and Dave Bible will hate, but I do have a ritual. And every day, um, you know, if I get up and work out, that really, you know, Joe, you know from running, it just clears your mind or you, you're you so creative or I feel just on fire after that. And I'm ready to go for the day. The next thing I do when I'm ready to start work before I dig into emails, I actually have a book and I go through what's called my 10 for 10. So we set goals every day, but I have my top 10 or my 10 dreams of mine for the next 10 years. So every day, instead of just reading through them, I actually write them out. Um, I also, so I have a little book that I go through. I don't want to hold it up so you can see them, but <laughs> cause they're personal. Uh -huh. um, and then at the bottom, I put in one thing that I'm going to do each day to get me further to that goal. And that really keeps me on focus. Yeah, the next yeah. thing I do is I have a notebook that really just keeps me focused. Always have a notebook with me. So if I'm daydreaming, like, oh, I've got to do that. I, if I don't write it down, I'll forget. So I have my notebook. And... Um, on one side, it's everything that I'm going to get done today or aim to get done today. And then on the other side, it's got a list of buyers, listings and in contracts and everything specific that I need to get done today for them. So what I do and have done that's changed my business is really the branding, the systems, learning different things, going to, I went to the a higher realtors conference last year and it just blew my mind and I changed my business with so many different things that I learned
from that conference and added to my business to make the experience with my clients better. Um, and then my rituals to stay focused and get it done. Because after all, if I'm going to work hard and see the results, it's only me. No one's going to do it for me. Yeah. yeah. I've got to do it for myself. And that's how I do it. Katie, I love it. So I'm going to give you a quick overview of what I think you said that I thought were good. I always like to take a couple of nuggets. Um, the, it's funny, I actually wrote down, when you talk about your schedule, I said time block, but then you said you don't time block, so I had to scratch that out. But you have a ritual. And I would argue under that word, though, is I would say you're very disciplined. So I think that's a big thing. The other thing you did was I said people work really, really hard to get to, to build their brand. And this goes with all of them, all of you guys. But now your brand's working for you. So that's fantastic. Um, systems. Every high, high producing agent I've ever interviewed, they all refer back to how their systems work for them. So I love that. And then the last one is goals and you do one thing a day. If you guys, for those of you who've been joining us every single week, there's this common theme there. There's a thread that they all say um, how committed they are to goals. And I've seen, you know, Heather at the end, we're going to talk about your goals, um, which are amazing, by the way. But so that if you're not doing that, you know, maybe talk to your manager, your assistant manager, and, you know, you see if we can help you with that because there's a strong correlation to that. So, Katie, thank you so much. We'll come back to you at the end and see if there's any questions. Next, we have Robert, uh, it's Robert Smith, not 